All right, so here we are right now, and you can see that uh, half the area here, well, maybe two-thirds of the area is still dry, but we still have to the west this stuff right here. So let's just bring it into a little closer view here. As you can see, the rain's made it to about the Heartland area now over to Brighton, basically right down the U.S. 23 corridor here to Hamburg Township, over to Ann Arbor, just on the west side of Ann Arbor now to Pittsfield Township, west side of your area there over to Clinton and Tecumseh, over to Adrian, Blissfield, Deerfield, you're just getting into the action right now. But again, this stuff is all very, very light. This stuff is very light, and again, the rest of us to the east of that are dry. Now, this is all false echoes right here. So we are dry until this stuff moves eastward, and it's moving at about 20, 25 miles an hour. So it's going to get here. It's just going to take its time because it's coming into some dry air that I'll show you in a second. 76, the temperature right now over in Mount Clemens. Dew points 56, south southeast wind at 10 miles per hour. And you see, we're all pretty much in the same boat here. 70s to right around 80 degrees. The warm spot, in fact, 80 degrees right now over at City Airport. But the dew point, that is a key here this afternoon. You can kind of see with the colors here. You can see this here. We've, we have this area of dry air just kind of slowly being nudged out as this higher moisture air, these higher dew points come in from the west. When the air is this dry, it just, it's just hard to get the rain to reach the ground. So when you have moisture air, the rain doesn't evaporate. So that's why we need this moisture to come in in order for that rain to really make it to the ground. So remember, this rain was made it to about right here. The, the edge of the rain was right here. Notice, just to the west of that, that's the lead edge of that moisture there. All right, real quick, we're just going to, because we've been doing it for a couple, three days now, the water vapor imagery shows you that upper level disturbance, very potent one, just diving southeast. You can see very clearly here. That's why I love showing you this stuff. This stuff shows you the structure, the atmosphere so much better. Diving southeast, that's what's triggering that rain right now and as it moves to the southeast we are going to see a diminishing of the rain also as that rain starts to try and move into the dry air so look what happens tonight you can see that this stuff gets pretty light in fact may not rain a whole lot up in the thumb where we do have abnormally dry conditions tomorrow morning this stuff is just about out of here by the time we wake up and I think most of the day is dry it will become partly cloudy an isolated shower or thunderstorm is possible I think most of us don't get that. And it's not until Sunday that we start to see, uh, we have some sunshine, but it's a start, but we start to see scattered and then more numerous showers and storms start to develop during the afternoon and another surge of moisture coming in Sunday night. All right, 65, the overnight low tonight with the showers ending. And then for tomorrow, we're looking at a high of 83 degrees with at least partly cloudy skies. And then on the seven day forecast, 80 on Sunday, 86 Monday, 90s now, low 90s on Tuesday, near 90 on Wednesday, Thursday a brief respite, and then we're going right back up, and I think we'll be upper 80s to low 90s all the way through next weekend after that, guys.